हेलो एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज द रेलवे स्टेशन ऑफ नांदेड बाय स्टेइंग एट होम यू माइट हैव बिकम बोर्ड सो यू कैन एंजॉय द सीन ऑफ द रेलवे स्टेशन स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज क्लॉजेस अ क्लॉज इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स हैविंग अ सब्जेक्ट एंड प्रेडिकेट ऑफ इट्स ओन के इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक there are two major types of clause one is called as main clause and another is called as subordinate clause main clause can also be referred as principal clause and subordinate clause can be called as dependent clause so whenever we are asked the question on clauses first of all what we have to do we have to identify which is the main clause and which is the subordinate clause so i'll tell you an important criteria to decide the main clause and subordinate clause remember that main clause always gives the complete meaning but subordinate clause doesn't give the complete meaning for its meaning it depends on the main clause for example see here i solved a question which was very difficult maine ek question solve kiya jo bahut mushkil tha so here i solved a question that is the main clause because it is giving the complete meaning but which was very difficult that is not giving the complete meaning it is depending on the main clause and it is starting with the subordinating conjunction which so which was very difficult this is subordinate clause and i solved a question that is main clause so remember this important point main clause always gives the complete meaning but subordinate clause doesn't give complete meaning for its meaning it depends on the main clause and it starts with the subordinating conjunction okay once you identify the main clause and the subordinate clause you have to remember that main clause does not have any type but there are three types of subordinate clause which are they they are noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause so in today's session i am going to discuss noun clause so the important question arises how to identify the noun clause because students are not able to identify a noun adjective or adverb only so how will they identify the noun clause for that also i'll tell you an important criteria c what we have to do whenever the sentence is given to confirm whether it is noun clause or not you should ask the question of what what is a wh word okay in hindi it means kya so you should ask the question of what to the verb of the main clause and after asking the question of what if subordinate clause is giving the answer then that is noun clause for example he wanted that he should get the first class okay wo chahta tha ki use first class mile here he wanted is the main clause and that he should get the first class is subordinate clause so if you ask the question of what to the verb of the main clause which is wanted what did he want so here subordinate clause is giving the answer that he should get the first class हिंदी में मैं एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ सेंटेंस का मीनिंग है कि वो चाहता था कि उसे फर्स्ट क्लास मिले वो क्या चाहता था कि उसे फर्स्ट क्लास मिले यानी कि यहाँ पे व्हाट का जो क्वेश्चन है उसका आंसर हमें मिल रहा है अगर व्हाट के क्वेश्चन का आंसर हमें मिलता है तो फिर हमें कंफर्म हो जाना चाहिए कि वो नाउन क्लॉज है बट जस्ट बींग कन्फर्म दैट इट इज नॉट इट इज नाउन क्लॉज इज नॉट इनफ because noun clause has six types once you are sure that the sentence belongs to the noun clause then you have to identify out of six types of noun clause which one it is so i'll tell you the six types of noun clause first one is noun clause subject of the verb now how to identify noun clause subject of the verb if the subordinate clause functioning as a noun comes at the place of the subject means before the verb then that is noun clause subject of the verb second type of noun clause is noun clause object of the verb 
if the subordinate clause functioning as a noun comes at the place of the object that means after the main verb then it is called as noun clause object of the verb third type of noun clause is noun clause complement of the verb now remember that if the noun clause comes after the helping verb if the noun clause comes after the helping verb then it is noun clause complement of the verb next type of noun clause is noun clause object of the infinitive now most of the students don't know what is an infinitive so i'll explain again to plus first form of the verb for example to write to dance to walk to sing to play all these are the infinitives so the subordinate clause functioning as a noun if it comes after an infinitive that is called as noun clause object of the infinitive next type of noun clause is noun clause object of the preposition okay in on over under before for among between such words are called as prepositions and if the subordinate clause functioning as a noun comes after a preposition then that is called as noun clause object of the preposition the last and sixth type of noun clause is noun clause in opposition to a noun see the word opposition is a little bit confusing it's not opposition okay it's opposition its spelling start with a what is the meaning of the word opposition the word opposition means double noun means here subordinate clause also functions as a noun and the word which comes before that subordinate clause that word is also a noun for example the noun form of combine is combination the noun form of explain is explanation so before the subordinate clause the word which you will find if it is a noun so that is called as noun clause in opposition to a noun so students i hope that you have understood these six types of noun clause properly now let's meet again in the new session with a new topic till then it's goodbye